friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the proportions. Well, proportions is just a pair of equivalent ratios. So, now, that means if you know about equivalent fractions, it'll be a lot easier to learn proportions. So, now... Now, let's have a fraction. Let's have a fraction. Fraction. One over two. Now, let's find a pair of equivalent fractions. these fractions are equal but uh, but to get a proportion we need to start with a ratio a ratio is just basically a fraction you can watch our video about it you can watch our video about it so now let's have a ratio Well, this ratio is kind of obvious. Let's say that we have a children who was a good reader. Who was a good reader. So, he can finish one book in two days. In two days. So, the ratio to books today is, is 1 over 2. One book per every two days. Now, let's have a pair of equivalent ratios. Equivalent ratios. So, let's start with our own ratio. One one book over two days. Now, now let's see that our children want to read the same book. Want to read ten days. So how many books would they read? In ten days, they would five books. The ratio from books to days now is 5 over 10. 5 books over 10 days. So, now, these are equivalent ratios. So, we can put an equal sign between. And when we do that, it's called... It's called... A proportion. It's called a proportion. A proportion is just a set of equivalent ratios. So, and now I'm going to tell a very important thing. I'm going to tell a very important thing about proportions. That is, to two ratios. And this is so important that for two ratios to be equal, two ratios to be equal, they don't have to mean the same. 
mm, value, but they didn't have the same value, they also have also need to have the same units. So now for to be proportion. So like if and what if we change when you change something in this proportion? What if we change the top number of the second ratio to be pieces instead of books? Well, like pieces over 10 days is not equivalent to one book over two days. So this is not a proportion anymore. So now, and this could be inaccurate also if we change another thing. That is, if we do that is one book over two days, we keep the same units as before, but one book over two days, we keep the same units as before, but we switch them. That is, we'll have five days over ten books. Is this a proportion? Well, five days over ten books is not equivalent to one book over two days. It's not a proportion either. So, now, proportions are used all the time in the real way. As well as ratios. So now let's have an example. So let's say that two mountains, two mountains are on a map, and we want to know how many, um, how many things it'll need. How, how many miles it is from those two mountains? Now, well, this is a map. This is a map. And the mountains are 20 centimeters away from each other. Now, it also has a scale on it that says probably 5 centimeters on the map is equal to 9 miles on the real island that is the mountains on. So now, but now, how many miles it is from these? Now, let's set up a proportion. That 5 centimeters over 9 miles. We know this proportion. Now, there's 20 centimeters away. So, this will be on top. And the number of miles it is, is a no. So, we can just put a letter N there to send for the missing number. Now we need to solve it. We can solve it by a procedure called cross multiply. Well, cross multiplying is just imagining a X shape that will tell us which of the two numbers we need to multiply. So let's imagine an X shape. So this and this. So 5 and N are going to multiply in this side and 20, 20 and 9 will multiply on this side. Oh, but when you finish this, it doesn't matter which pair goes on which side. Now, now all we have to do is do the multiplication, which has two numbers. So 20 times 9 will be 180. And then 5 times n. So how can we multiply these two? Well, we don't need to multiply because we need to find what that is. What this number is. If this was one, this would be very easy because 
What happens if we multiply a number by 1? Yep. Absolutely nothing. So we can get rid of the 1. But here is a 5 instead. So what do we do? Well, the short answer is we need to divide both sides of the equation by 5. We need to divide the number. We need to divide by x. And x is the number which n is being multiplied to. Now, well, on this side, 180 over 5 is just 36. And 5 times n over 5 is just n because the 5 is cancelled out. So now that will give us n is equal to 36. That means those two mountains are 36 miles away from each other. So now... Now we have a better idea about our proportions. So please press the subscribe button and please press the bell icon. So bye bye. See you next time. In my next video, I'm gonna make.